Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to do some knotless curly box braids. Today's video is sponsored by Theme Hair Care Adorn Edge Control. You can find this in the description below. And this edge control basically allows your hairstyle to be sleek um, and flake free. So let's get into the hairstyle. So I'm using some combo control clips and I like to use these to help out with my parting whenever I'm parting my hair uh, for any hairstyle. So I'm going to have four rows of braids and I'm going to show you how I did that. And they're also very large parts so I guess you would consider this jumbo. So I semi stretched my hair the day before. Um, Yes, I know it's not good stretch hair and it's better to do braids on stretch hair, but this is how I did it. I um, wanted to moisturize my hair with a moisturizer, but yeah. So this is as stretch as my hair is right now. So we're working on the first row. The first row is going to have three sections. So each section, I'm just going to pre-make the section by creating the row and then um, separating out a box for the section and each section will be a braid. So um, after I created the box, I just twisted it up into a chunky twist and I let it sit because I know it will not get detangled or it won't get um, blended into the other sections. So now I'm working on the second row. The second row this time starting somewhere near my eyebrow and I'm actually gonna go all the way around the back of my head to the other side to create the second row. This way I will have control of um, how large my parts are and my parts will be basically the same size. So that's why I chose to do the parting this way today. I'm using this comb, it's called like a bone tail comb. It's plastic and I like to use it whenever I part my hair. You can also ch um, check that out down below if you like. So the same thing here, I'm going to try to make these parts the same size as the first row. And I'm just gonna try to create squares. I'm using my small mirror and combo clips and I'm gonna twist them up into chunky twists. So this is the second row. The second row ended up having seven sections. This is the third row and this row also came out to have seven sections. Now we're on the fourth row, which is the top of my head. Uh, if you wanna call it a row. <laughs> but uh, that's the best way I can explain it to have it organized for you guys to understand. So same thing here, I'm making sure I'm creating the same um, space size and this top row also turned out to have seven sections. So I had 24 parts, 24 sections total. So I'm gonna have 24 braids. So now I'm getting out the edge control, theme hair care edge control, and I'm gonna apply it to my roots of the braids before I section um, the braids to braid. And this way my braid will be nice and sleek before I start. So I'm laying the foundation. So then I'm gonna section, or I'm gonna split this section into threes. I'm gonna braid once, then I'm going to feed in the first piece of braiding here underneath where my um, thumb and index finger are holding that middle piece. And then I'm going to braid this hair three times. So one, two, three. This is the third turn, okay? So then I'm gonna feed in the second piece of braiding hair, and then I'm going to braid down another three times. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the third piece, and this is the final piece. Each section, I only added in three pieces of braiding hair. Once I fed that in, I just braid it until I got towards my ends. Now towards my ends, my hair is natural, and I also want it to stay within the braid, so I use the Theme Hair Care Edge Control to smooth my um, ends down into the braid. As you can see here, I'm just smoothing it on, and then I just continue to braid down. This makes sure my ends do not pop out of the braid, and, and make sure my braid is sleek. 
So once I'm done with that, I get a roller out. This is like a perma roller. And I'm gonna wrap the ends of the hair flat onto the roller because I want a Shirley Temple curl, not a springy curl. So I'm gonna wrap it like that. So again, I'm taking the Fiend Hair Care Edge Control, smoothing it onto the roots to uh, lay the foundation of the braid. I'm gonna use the con combo control clip on the other section of the hair because sometimes the frizz and the flyaways gets um, tangled or not tangled. It gets um, into the section that I'm working on and I don't like that. So I'm gonna use the combo control clips to keep it out the way. So again, I'm braiding once. I'm gonna feed in the hair, braid that down three times. Then I'm going to get out the second piece of hair and braid that in three times. Then I'm gonna get the third piece of hair and braid that in three, or continue to braid down to my end. So the size of the braiding hair pieces that I'm feeding in are um, pretty large. They're not jumbo per um, piece, but it will be a jumbo braid. So it's a lot of hair in one, piece <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap it flat onto the perm rod so that I can have a Shirley Temple curl then I'm going to secure the perm rod and move on so now that I'm done you see these braids are nice and sleek none of my ends are popping out the roots look nice shiny sleek there's no flakes nothing is going on it looks really nice so now I'm ready to go ahead and dip my rollers so I'm going to use an electric kettle and I boil my water I'm pouring my water into a tall plastic container this is like a Chinese store iced tea containers if you've ever had iced tea from the Chinese store you know what these are and I'm gonna just use that as my um, thing to hold my water my cup um, I also had that inside of another plastic container just for safety for me um, and also to make sure the plastic cup with the hot water is balanced and won't slip away. So I'm dipping two rollers at a time because I don't want to put too many in and pull them out and have the water spill on me or have any accidents. So I'm taking my time doing two at a time. You want to be careful. You don't want to have any distractions while doing this because the water is really piping hot. It's right after it was boiled and you don't want any interruptions. So if there's somebody there that um, might interrupt you or you know do something crazy uh, that might scare you, just let them know I'm about to dip my hair. Can you please um, let me dip my hair because I need to focus and I don't want any accidents. I don't want any burns. So just do that just as a precaution. So halfway through I poured out some of the water because the water does cool down quickly and um, if you pour, if you dip your hair into lukewarm water, it won't take the curl. So you'll have to refill up the um, container with um, boiling hot water again. So that water was already in my kettle, so I just made sure I boiled enough water so that I could refill it um, when I needed to. So after I've done that, oh, also you wanna use a nice thick towel and I had to fold my towel into fours because the heat will come through the towel. So be careful of that, make sure your towel is folded. So now I'm done, the curls dry really super fast. Like you don't have to wait just to take this off. They're already, no, they don't dry. They cool super fast, sorry. So um, yeah, so to take off the roller, I had to twist it off a little bit to have the Shirley Temple curl because I, I wrapped it really tight. Um, yeah, <laughs> so these are how the curls are looking, but I noticed there was like stringy curls on the ends because of how I wrapped the hair afterwards. Like, um, there was a lot of hair, so I had to wrap it like twice. So I just cut that off because I didn't want those stringy looking curls on there. Some of them were hidden and I had to like pull the curl to see if it had one of those straight ends. Um, and then I had to just trim it off. You can use whatever scissors. Yeah, so I thought I was done, but then I found another one. See, I just threw my curl and there was one that was hiding, so I just trimmed off that piece. So these are the finished results, but I'm not done yet. As you can see, I don't have on any lipstick. So I just went ahead and did a lip swatch because I just brought these lipsticks on sale at uh, Sephora online. So the first one's Fenty Beauty I Quit. 
and I was actually looking for a nude this kind of fit what I was looking for um, so I brought that and I think I went with that for the rest of the video but the other two I tried on were shawty and this is kind of like an orange brown lip color I kind of didn't like this one just not for today because I have on purple eyeshadow so no and then the last one was black just straight black and you know I think I applied it wrong I don't think I should have applied this with a lip liner black should be applied by itself so maybe in another video I'll do that so yeah I went with I quit and this is the finished look for my face and my braids they are very sleek and girly I really love the curls and I love them because it gives me a girly look um, and I also just wanted it to put it I wanted to put it in a ponytail because of how girly it is so I loved it. I also went ahead and added some butterflies because today is my birthday. I wanted to take some pictures to make this style look really cute and, you know, look like me. <laughs> so, yeah, I went ahead and added those. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much, Fiend Hair Care, for sponsoring this video. Check out their edge control link down in the description. Check out more videos on my channel. Thumbs up this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.